Hello everyone, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Here is DDD Daily Season 2 Episode 5 Monday Madness, where no, the day is not crazy. I'm just gonna make this nest mad. If people choose to shield Spit Gordo, you can actually cover a lot of the distance between you and them by running behind it. Now this was a really sloppy up smash out of shield. If you want lightning fast up smashes out of your shield, you need to continue to hold the shield button down while you input up smash. Somehow Ness, when he rolled, rolled inside the strong hit I love to. My main goal if I go up a stock against Ness is to just get him back off stage or at the ledge so I can rack damage while I'm at a high percent because nothing is more tilting than watching your next stock melt away while the other person is one hit from losing theirs. Although that had to have been immensely satisfying. <laughs> the sole reason I love this matchup so much is just the edge guardness. Ness is at your mercy if he has no jumps off stage. Time to end this the only way I know. I almost never find Duck Hunt, but decided to include this because the Duck Hunt switches between both camping and zoning very effectively. What is the difference, you might ask? Well, camping with projectiles is when you use projectiles and then pick a defensive option when they hit. Zoning is when you use projectiles and pick offensive combos after the projectile accomplishes the goal of effectively putting someone in the position to give you said combo. Camping, on the other hand, the only goal is to chip damage you away. All the defensive options they take keep them living longer while they slowly chip you down. I lay here on the ground for an eternity, pondering why that down smash whiffed. I've been hit by that before, you want to DI out down and away as hard as possible. Most of that stock, he basically can't me out, which is why I'm dying at 226%, because in other scenarios when he could have killed me, the duck hunt chooses a defensive option, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just that sometimes you have to take more necessary risks, or DDD will live to 200 plus percent. A 
meant to say this earlier, but it is almost always worth it if you can safely hit Gunman, and it is doubly worth it if you can hit Gunman with Gordo, because Gordo will hit Gunman multiple times. Why is this important, you ask? Because if Gunman is being hit, or is hit, he cannot be used by Duck Hunt. This is what I meant by switching super effectively, by the way. Just played that whole match getting camped out, and now, boom, look, he just about evened up that game after one interaction. Hey, I don't normally voice over the credits section, but I hope everybody has a great day today. See y'all tomorrow.